Hey guys, my name is Marnice Nicole and welcome to another Artist Diary where today I'm talking about, well, progress. I'm talking about my personal progress, my growth. Um, a year ago, this February, I started painting for the first time. Well, besides the one art class I had in college, but you know what I mean, like I seriously started painting and even with that art class, I only had the basics, like I only knew the basics. Um because that art class was like a more advanced class and it was pick your own study and kind of subject and kind of just do what you want to do. In retrospect, I feel like that was a class, you know, to build your portfolio. We were given minimum direction um, and we were kind of just go off on your own paint and do, do things in order to have like a body of work. It was once a week class um, for a semester and the the artist Ginger, she was amazing. Um, she wanted me to go to art school. That's crazy. Like she wanted me to go to art school. She was like you have like this this interesting style of painting and she kept trying to convince me and convince me and at the time like I knew I was going into marketing. I had a plan. This is what I want to do and I was only taking that class because I needed one more class to graduate. It was spring semester of senior year of college I was ready to get out of college like I was ready to graduate we only had a couple of months left and I needed something to fill my schedule I was only taking classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays they were all electives and like at that time I just I guess I felt like I was done with school I was done with learning I was almost there and so despite her encouragement I kind of just oh <laughs> whatever uh, I, I'm sorry Ginger I, I know what I want to do I don't really want to go to art school um, but thank you thank you Ginger um, and now it's been what four years later and Ginger if you're watching this I should have I should have listened to you I should have went to art school I kind of wish I could go now but like life <laughs> I have a house I have a full-time job I have a dog and family and that sort of thing and you know I could but then I would have absolutely no time to do anything so uh, I'm self teaching myself again I'm learning the basics I'm experimenting I spent the whole last year learning basics experimenting and I did that through a number of ways live YouTube lessons workshops when I could um, more YouTube lessons um, doing finding websites about techniques Pinterest and just picking a picture and just copying it um, to learn about shadows and to learn about perspective and to um, you know try to recreate an item like figure that out first so that I can then do things myself. I started sketching because I didn't know how to draw. <laughs> um, I still Eh, I'm still kind of mm, with the drawing skills but I'm getting better and I have a few books um, that are really helping me like get the idea of painting um, excuse me get the idea of sketching I'm excited and I talk fast and I'm uh. anyway the point is that a year ago 2016 February I seriously started painting I seriously took those general concepts that I'd gotten from Ginger's class and was like this was what I know I need to get this is what I know I need to do. Let's go ahead and paint. I want to paint. And this all happened because I went to one paint night after work with my twin and I was like, oh my god, this is fun. I don't know if you guys have seen Frankie. I'm going to insert his picture here. I painted him in December of 2015 at a paint night. And after that I was like, family, buy me paint supplies. I want to paint. And February, I got paint supplies for my birthday which is February 11th and then I started painting and the first thing I painted was inspired by this book this is three girls and their brother I actually didn't read this book I read another book um, which is called 12 rooms and a view and it's by the same author um, and I'd read that book and I absolutely loved 12, 12 rooms with a view like I loved that book so much it was all I could talk about it was all I could think about and then I was like let me go ahead and get another one of her books and this was the book and this was the cover and inspiration hit I was like oh I know what I'm gonna paint I'm gonna paint her <laughs> and so I I did last February I attempted to paint this painting and I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you guys this was the painting 
This this was a painting. A little close up for you. She's holding a mug and she is very abstract. Figurative but abstract. Um, I had already the sense that I like texture. I didn't like pretty paintings and that sort of thing. I already was geared towards my style from from the first painting. I like this kind of abstract you know um straight brush lines and you know very painterly painting type and anyway so that's what i did that's what i did i painted this piece inspired by this book right here which i still haven't read but the book on the cup the photo on the cover it just it's exactly what it did it inspired me to paint and one i'm so thankful for that and two i knew that not only did i want to paint this and see what I would do for a first time painting um, but I also knew that for my first painting in one year I wanted to repaint my first painting like I knew that in February of last year I knew I'm painting this now but I seriously am considering art it's not going to be a hobby for me um, and I want to be able to track my progress and so I repainted it you can see the newest version here which I painted about a week week and a half ago I didn't name it not yet, but this, this painting, I just, I, you know when you start somewhere and you're like, you don't know where you're going to go. You don't know how you're going to finish, but this, this painting represents where I finished, at least so far. Those same colors still inspired me from the painting, but like the style has grown. Um, I did something with the background. And instead of the drips, I use those three colors kind of just to create this background. This is what I came up with. The figure is more realistic. It's not as skinny because <laughs> I tended to, to paint, you know, very petite skinny girls. But um, this is a more realistic figure for me. If you can see that hand there, still have a little trouble with hands. Um, but that's more to do with my drawing capacity, like my drawing skills. I'm getting better with hair, I feel like. Um, and just texture wise, I just appreciate this photo and I appreciate the place where it came from. Um, so I don't have much more to say. I am going to insert a few pictures so you can see the comparison. Um, but coming full circle, it's been a a year now officially a year of me painting um, 2017 I see going so well I am going to be in a new um, a new art show soon next month in a couple of weeks and you don't think that you're gonna get there that fast you don't think that oh you're going to show in an art show after only a year of painting you don't think that's gonna happen but it's happening and it's not happening too fast. It's not like people are like, ooh, I need all of the paint. No, it's happening at a pace that one I can handle, one I can appreciate, and one I can experience. And all of the painting is coming together that way as well. Like, there are so many times where I'll start a painting and I don't don't like where it's going but I've learned now to not just give up on it to keep going to see what happens because my style so different it's not like I go to a canvas with a plan at least not a, a fleshed out we're doing this today and it's going to look like this and it's going to have this accent that's not how I paint I'm very intuitive and so I have to learn to trust that I will get there um, there's a painting that I'll show you right now this is what I'm currently working on Ooh, this is what I'm currently working on and I'm cringing because this is not what it's going to look like obviously this is not anywhere near um what I feel when I I, I am working on this this is, doesn't match my style this is doesn't match anything really this looks like a blob to me now other people may disagree I know art is to the beholder and that sort of thing but for me personally as this is my piece that I'm working on I'm like Ew. <laughs> like I'm like oh no but you know what this is what my ugly stages look like and then when I keep working and I keep adding my layers and my layers it turns into something so beautiful like like it was always supposed to be that way and I've learned just over the last year to not give up on a piece because I don't like it or that I don't think it's going anywhere or because I feel like I'm just losing it all together. I don't have any talent or anything. Like I'm not suckering myself out because I know that even though this looks like this now, by the end of it, it'll look like me. It'll look like 
my work. It'll look like my style. You'll know Marnice Nicole painted that. When when you see it, you'll know it's mine. And until it gets there, I'm going to work on it. And I'm going to keep at it. And I'm going to try different techniques until it fits what I feel it should fit. And <laughs> as a very random and... Uh, very intuitive painter who uh, is very unorganized, like completely unorganized. It's hard to get organized and to say, oh, I have three days to paint this, go. Like I can't, I can't do that, at least not yet. But I'm learning to pace, I'm learning to give myself breaks, I'm learning not to give up, and I'm basically learning to not, not, well, <laughs> I said not give up, but not to become overwhelmed with the stages at because I this is stage number one I don't think I've ever showed you guys a stage number one like this is the first stage I typically go through 30 stages especially if I'm working with my palette knife like it'll go 20 layers dry between that sort of thing I will step away from it and I'll come back or maybe I'll work for six hours straight and it's turned around seven different concepts on one canvas um but it always works out like I never step away from a canvas and sign it and be done with it and it's like oh no this wasn't supposed to happen it happens how it happens and until I f I uh get a more standard approach this is this is my method and uh, I know a lot of people cannot work like this. I know. I know a lot of people, they go down with a concept sketch and then the concept sketch becomes a concept piece and is just detailing and they got the colors matched and that sort of thing. Not I. And even the pieces that go into my sketchbook that are concepts that I really want to try later, those concepts are obtuse because they're they've come out of my mind but they're not on the canvas yet because once even if I have a sketch or a plan once it gets on the canvas anything could happen it's like magic it's like it's like a genie was like up oh, painting up oh, nope not yet painting again so like <laughs> method 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 out ooh your method helps you your method works and your method is yours and this is my method and it's crazy but this is what I've come up with after a year this is how I work best um, I work best with a piece like this <laughs> that doesn't really make sense but I bet you when it's done you're gonna be like oh Marnice this is your favorite piece of the year yep um, anyway <laughs> um, this is artist diary number 13 thank you so much for what for for watching and um, you know listening to my rant <laughs> Um, tell me below what is your method are you crazy like me so unorganized so ooh, ooh, whatever happens happens or what's your method how does your painting work for you that's what I want to know personally I just want to know how other artists get it done um, and of course you can follow me always for daily updates to you know see how this goes and progresses with the many layers hit me up on Instagram because that's the only social media I use no snapchat no twitter i gave them all up a long time ago i guess working and marketing and in social media you kind of like you don't want it in your life so i only stick with instagram it's that's it but you know follow me and share